Hello friends, uh, wherever you are, I just want to greet you and also tell you some observations I have made actually this morning. This morning I went to the supermarket just around here where I stay in Nairobi, Kenya. That uh, just entered uh, in that supermarket and then I was just buying a bread and uh, and some some milk there but i'm really sad because uh, what i saw there is not good the economy is tough it's not only in kenya i don't say that it's only in kenya but it's all over economy is not well with us and i don't know because uh, we are the ones who make money. We are the ones who do business. We are the ones who exchange uh, rates, foreign exchange, shillings, dollars, and other currencies. But I tend to, I, I, I don't, I, I wonder why uh, the economy is tough for actually. 80% of people in Africa I don't know in Europe because I've never gone to those serious but I'm talking about something where I am things are tough here comes uh, a man in the, in the supermarket we just adjusted to me we picked uh, bread and some milk and also did so but now it was in front of me at the counter paying the amount. Maybe the rates there are around uh, 0 0.6 dollars one bread, 0 .6, around 60 shillings in Kenya. Those are around 6, uh, 0 0.6 dollars, something like that. But let me tell you, <laughs> he had uh, some. 200 shillings just paying he was told he was told that you have to add more because it's not enough that man was really sad because he was with a, a small boy and that boy had picked a chocolate what they are around uh, 70 shillings 0 0.7 dollars now this kid needs needs, needs tea bread and some stuff to use at home but here you don't have money <laughs> here you're being told eh? if you don't have money you just return them to the shelf but returning it uh, the kid actually said that the kid uh, was with the, that uh, chocolate so he had to pay for that chocolate and then return uh, the bread and other stuff so that he can the, 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 the amount he had can fit what he was holding so that man walked out at the supermarket. And then when I, when I paid and then when I went outside and I, I found him just uh, at the corner standing there. He was shedding tears. I really felt for him. And I approached him and asked him, uh, uh, my friend, what's the problem? My brother. He just looked at me and then he shed tears. He told me, Bana. I've not paid rent for the last three months. I lost a job during Corona, corona time. I've just trying to do some jobs here and uh, casual jobs here and around. The wife left because uh, I could not sustain maybe finances at home and other things. Left left me with this a small kid you are seeing here. I don't say what I did, but uh, what I can say is that the economy is tough in this world. <clears throat> People are suffering. People are suffering economically. <clears throat> Sorry. People are suffering economically. People are dying slowly. I am telling you. Nowadays, if you look at these uh, big estates, 
the cars are just parked there because people are now opting for uh, public service vehicles. It's cheaper. The, the, the petrol uh, is expensive here in Kenya. In America, they call the gasoline. I don't know. It's very, 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 very expensive. That's how things are. My fellow Kenyans, fellow business people around the world, let's make the world work. Those big business people around the world have mercy on some people. Because if you have a huge, man of, a huge chunk of money, try to release for them, for, for, them uh, for circulation. Try to donate to some needy people. And God will bless you. Thank you.